Alright guys, we've been on so many trips and it's that time. It is time to change the oil in the magnetism. So we're going with Shell Rotella T6. We got this. This box comes with three gallons, three one gallon jugs of these. So we will. Kevin uses this for the dually too, so we'll get that all changed. We did fill. So we did fill. A little bit of death fuel on one of our trips I think like two jugs and that was when the we picked up the magnitude because there was already like two three thousand miles from the Thor facility all the way to Arizona so I did order more just to be on the safe side because you don't want you don't want your rig going into limp mode guys so just have some extra on hand or fill it ahead of time so you're not gonna have that issue when you're traveling because we do plan to head we're heading back out to Black Meadow and we're gonna that's gonna put some miles so by the time we head out there it's already time to change the oil and replace and add the death fuel and all that stuff and of course here's the blue death i get these at sam's club because they're a decent price so i'm just gonna load some up <laughs> guys we're black back at black meadow i'm just making it into the registration to get our site registered and everything in we'll see if we can launch the boat right after this launch we are just going to park the boat over there right there behind that tree branch and we're already set up so we're just gonna have we're just gonna have our buddy actually launch for us so we don't have to unpack and whatnot tonight I'm making with the steak some cheese rolls with the they're basically it's just Pillsbury biscuits Cut them up into like four, so triangles. And then you're gonna mix in your seasonings, garlic, cheese, parsley, and then you're gonna throw them in the oven according to the instructions on the label. And that's it, so I'll get these prepped and I'll show you guys the finishing touch. I made it once at Newport Dunes. 
So I'm chopping them up like these uh, little triangles into fours, and then I'm gonna toss them all together and then divvy them out into the muffin tins. Okay, seasonings on the plate. I'm gonna get ready to mix the biscuits with the cheese and butter. All right, in you go. Okay, while the biscuits are cooking, I'm gonna throw on the steak. They are gonna sit on this country smokers that we like to bring. We're gonna smoke it out for maybe 30, 40 minutes. And then when it's, it's done, you just uh, pop open that little grate thing and just sear it like you would with a normal grill, three, four minutes per side. These are just some strip steaks. I'm gonna close it up and I'll see it in 30, 40 minutes. Latch those up. Steaks have been removed from the smoke. We're cranking it up high and the vents are open so we can get that sear. So we'll let that heat up and we'll sear the steaks for three, four minutes per side or maybe two, three minutes per side. So we'll finish up here shortly. Alright, the cheese rolls are done guys, the steak's all cut up, I tinted it in some foil, and we're gonna take it to our friends. Cooking breakfast with the view, guys. So we didn't bring diesel today on this trip because the last trip was just super hot and we were just getting kind of nervous, but just a quick tip to when you're doing when you're when you're setting up your AC so we are hooked up to 30 amp just make sure you hit cool because if you don't hit cool it'll turn off so just make sure that's highlighted or lit up and we've just been leaving it on low right now we have the front on you can definitely do both cool both airs on and you should be fine but since we're going to be heading out, I think this is what we're going to do for now. And we definitely um, need to make sure we close all the covers just to keep some heat out. And we are definitely going to get this covered. And we already have that wind cover, the windshield cover on. So, so yeah, we left Diesel at home. We were just kind of worried. We just didn't want to be out too long. And we just didn't want to keep... We didn't want to be paranoid and we didn't want to come home to any accidents so just a quick tip if you're going to be out here in the heat because right now it's actually good it's in the 90s but peak season is going to be like 100 uh, maybe 10 to 110 15 you never know so just make sure your airs um do, do not put auto i would not suggest putting it on auto just put it on low um or high so so that you know that it's on
Before we hit the road back home, we're gonna throw in some blue death because that um, we keep getting that notification that we're we have a certain distance, and I think we're at like four or three hundred. But better be safe than sorry, guys. <laughs> 